Hi, uh, my name is Basir. In this video, I'll be teaching you electronic theory of balance by Lewis and Cossel. We'll also talk about the octet rule. In the previous video, we saw that most of the noble gases, except helium, have eight valence electrons, meaning they have eight electrons in their outermost orbit. Now, electronic theory of valence by Lewis and Cossel, it talks about how the atoms tend to lose electrons or gain electrons so that they are left with eight valence electrons just like just like the noble gases just like the noble gases the other elements what want to have eight valence electrons so what do they do they tend to lose the electrons or gain the electrons during a chemical bond formation so that they are left with eight valence electrons let us first look at the uh, periodic table in the period periodic table we'll see that the group numbers and the valence electrons have a little relationship between them um, everybody must be aware that uh, the periodic table has 18 groups and seven periods 18 columns are known as groups 18 groups and then the rows are known as periods so it has up to seven periods now these groups are also numbered using the roman numerals so here 1a 2a 3a 4a 5a 6a 7a 8a these groups are known as main groups so we'll be only talking about the main groups for now we are only going to deal with the main groups which is 1a 2a 3a 4a 5a 6a 7a and 8a group 1a elements all the group 1a elements have one valence electron it means it has one electron in the outermost orbit all the group 2a elements will have two valence electrons meaning they have two electrons in their outermost orbit likewise group 3 elements have three valence electrons group 4a elements have four valence electrons group 5a elements have five valence electrons group 6a elements have six valence electrons group 7a elements have seven valence electrons and group 8a elements have eight valence electrons we'll, we'll look at one element from each group so we are looking at sodium from group 1a we see that the atomic number of sodium is 11 so the electronic config configuration should be 2 8 1 so sodium has one electron in the outermost orbit let me write it this way here sodium atomic number 11 the electronic configuration is 2 8 1 the first orbit we denoted by k the second orbit we denoted by l the third orbit we obviously denoted by m so sodium the outermost orbit for for sodium is the m shell the m shell but sodium tends to lose this one electron the one valence electron it has it tends to lose the one valence electron so that it is left with eight electrons in the outermost orbit now previously the outermost orbit was the m shell which had one electron sodium during a chemical bond formation it loses the valence electron the one valence electron now the outermost orbit is the l shell which has eight valence electrons so so we'll see a little more how atoms during a chemical bond formation tend to lose electrons or gain electrons so that they are left with eight electrons in the outermost orbit likewise well we are looking at magnesium from group 2a magnesium atomic number is 12 electronic configuration 2a2 it has two valence electrons it tends to lose these two electrons so that the electronic configuration becomes 2 8 and the outermost orbit will have 8 electrons group 3a elements likewise they have three electrons in the outermost orbit meaning they have three valence electrons they tend to lose these three valence electrons so that they are left with eight valence electrons here group 6a elements gain two electrons they, ha they have six valence electrons after they gain two electrons six plus two will become what eight so now they have eight valence electrons group seven elements have seven valence electrons they gain one electron so that they now have eight valence electrons seven plus one is eight group eight a elements already have eight valence electrons so they don't lose any electrons neither they gain any electrons right so what do you see from these two charts here we see that group 1a elements 
ग्रुप वन एलिमेंट्स ग्रुप टू एलिमेंट्स एंड ग्रुप थ्री एलिमेंट्स दे टेन टू लूज द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दे लूज द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सो दैट दे आर लेफ्ट विथ एट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन द आउटर मोस्ट ऑफ इट ग्रुप सिक्स ए एलिमेंट ग्रुप सेवन ए एलिमेंट वी सी दैट दे टेन टू गेन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सो दैट दे आर लेफ्ट विथ एट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन द आउटर मोस्ट ऑफ इट लेट एस सी नाउ वाई एन एटम बिकम्स अ पॉजिटिव आयोन वेन इट लूजेज एन इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड वाई एन एटम बिकम्स अ नेगेटिव आयोन वेन इट गेन्स एन इलेक्ट्रॉन वी सी दैट ग्रुप वन ए ग्रुप टू ए एंड ग्रुप थ्री एलिमेंट्स आर लूजिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन्स हियर दे आर लूजिंग दी वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड दे आर बिकमिंग पॉजिटिव आयोन्स ग्रुप सिक्स ए एंड ग्रुप सेवन ए एलिमेंट्स दे आर गेनिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड दे आर बिकमिंग नेगेटिव आयोन्स वाई डू दे हैव टू बिकम अ नेगेटिव आयोन वाई डू वी से दैट इट बिकेम अ नेगेटिव आयोन वेन इट गेन एन इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड वाई डू वी से दैट एन एडम बिकम्स अ पॉजिटिव आयोन वेन इट लूजेस एन इलेक्ट्रॉन लेट सी दिस sodium which has an atomic number 11 it ideally means that it has 11 protons and it has 11 electrons we know that atoms are electrically neutral which means the amount of positive charge is always equal to the amount of negative charge so sodium which has an atomic number 11 will obviously have 11 protons and it will obviously have 11 electrons protons are positively charged particles electrons are negatively charged particles see atoms again are electrically neutral because they have equal amount of positive charge and the negative charge when atoms have let's say an atom ha has more positive charge compared to the negative charge then it becomes a positive ion likewise if an atom has more negative charge compared to the positive charge it becomes a negative ion as simple as that sodium it previously had 11 electrons after it lost one electron it is left with how many electrons 2 plus 8 10 electrons so now the number of electrons that sodium has is only 10 so which one is which is greater the positive charge is greater or the negative charge is greater obviously the positive charge is greater because the positive charge is 11 the negative charge is 10 positive charge is greater so what do we do we say that the positive charge is greater by how much 11 minus 10 is 1 positive charge is greater by 1 so when sodium loses an electron it becomes na plus ion we don't write 1 here because obviously if i just write na plus also it obviously means that it's a unipositive ion magnesium for that for an example it has 12 valence electrons so 2 8 2 is the electronic configuration it has 12 protons and it has 12 electrons right after it loses these two electrons it is left with how many electrons 2 plus 8 10 electrons so which is greater the positive charge or the negative charge you can see that the positive charge is greater positive charge is greater by how much 12 minus 10 is 2 positive charge is greater by 2 so magnesium when it loses two electrons it becomes mg2 plus because the positive charge is greater by how much by 2 that's how that's how we say that when electron uh, when atoms loses electrons they become positive ions in the same way when atoms gain electrons they become negative ion for the same reason let's see oxygen oxygen the atomic number is 8 which means it has 8 protons and it has 8 electrons now after oxygen gains two electrons how many electrons it has in total 2 plus 8 10 electrons it now has how many electrons 10 electrons so which is greater the positive charge or the negative charge obviously the negative charge is greater 10 is greater than 8 the negative charge is greater by how much 10 minus 8 is 2 so we say that oxygen negative charge is greater by how much by 2 so atom when it gains electrons it becomes negative ion this table here these tables right here uh, they quickly summarize what we have learned so far group 1a elements 2a elements 3a elements which is nothing but the elements on the left side of the periodic table they tend to lose electrons and they become positive ions 
ग्रुप सिक्स फाइव एलिमेंट्स सिक्स ए एलिमेंट्स सेवन ए एलिमेंट्स द एलिमेंट्स ऑन दी द ग्रुप्स ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड ऑफ द पीरियोडिक टेबल दे टेंड टू गेन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड दे बिकम नेगेटिव आयोन्स The elements on the left side of the periodic table are metals. The elements on the right hand side of the periodic table are non-metals. This property of metals, the property of lose, uh, the property of losing electrons to become positive ions, this property is also known as metallic property, or it is also known as electropositive character, or electropositivity, because they lose the electrons to become positive ions. and the property of non metals and the property of gaining electrons to become negative ions is known as non metallic character non metallic character or it is also known as electron negativity because they gain electrons to become negative ions we call that property as electro negativity let us now talk a little bit about the octet rule so we just learned that atoms tend to lose electrons or gain electrons so that they are left with eight valence electrons so that they are left with only eight valence electrons this tendency of atoms to lose electrons or gain electrons so that they are left with eight valence electrons is also known as the octet rule i'll read out the octet rule for you the atoms of elements tend to undergo chemical changes that help to leave their atoms with eight outer shell electrons these charts have been prepared by sumaya and mariam video editing is done by faisal in the next video uh, i'll talk about ionic bonds and the formation of ionic bonds i'll see you next time until then goodbye